Okay, so hello and welcome to the third part of this supply and demand video. And the topic we're at is the income elasticity of demand or YED. So first of all, what is income elasticity of demand? The definition, we need to go through this definition make it yeah okay so income elasticity of demand or yed measures the responsiveness of demand to change in income okay so remember how we were looking at demand uh, here so we were looking at how much by how much the demand changes after a change in price has occurred well this is the same thing but we are looking at the factor income because it's income elasticity. So how much has demand changed or what proportion, uh, to what proportion has demand changed for, um, after a change in income has occurred? So this is the definition. Okay. Hmm. Just box here okay <clears throat> so the equation for income elasticity of demand or yed is percentage change in demand divided by the percentage change in income again this is just um this equation why the equation is like this is because of uh we are because of the proportion we we're trying to compare one quantity against the other what we're doing is comparing the proportional change in demand against the change in income so first there is a change in income then there is a change in demand so compared to income how has the change percentage change in demand occurred how has it occurred is it greater than the change percentage change in income or is it less than the percentage change in income so when we're comparing two quantities we use ratios percentages or fractions this is in fraction form but it could be in ratio form or whatever as you would have learned in maths that comparing quantities use ratios so my sister is 17 years old and i am um four years older than her or something like that or double her age or triple or whatever so that would be similar way percentage change in income is this 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 but percentage change in demand is bigger than that or smaller than that or 10 percent higher than percentage change in income so that's what essentially income elasticity is and that's what we mean by measuring the responsiveness of demand to a change in income mm. this is income elasticity explained in different types of goods so you can have inferior good income inelastic income elastic luxury well, to be honest, here, you don't really, like, it's more of a very, like, individualistic, uh, depending on uh, many factors, and it's just more of a, just uh, individual thing, like, what, or a household type of thing, where, what's, elastic for you might be inelastic for somebody else what's 
inferior for you might be uh, might not be inferior for somebody else it depends really on your income how much you earn like uh, annually um what's your income overall so customers have different things so businesses need to understand that every customer is different every socioeconomic class or the target markets so in it could be one product and the black product could be inferior for one segment but could not be inferior for another segment so it just depends on people what we need to understand inferior good when the income elasticity is more elastic when there is an increase in income the inferior good demand will fall when there is an increase in income the luxury good demand will fall so well, the luxury good demand will increase bigger percent rise in demand more rise in demand well okay so here's what income is when you've got an income in elastic product you have a smaller rise in demand your income increases by a greater proportion than your demand rise in the income inelastic product however in income elastic products your demand change percentage change in your demand is bigger or greater in proportion to uh, your in change in income so it could be like inferior is higher income but buy less both are normal goods meaning higher income higher demand basically what it's trying to say is that inferior goods you have less demand when your income is higher and normal goods you have more demand when your income is uh, higher and it's the opposite when your income is lower and income in elastic goods your the you as a consumer you would buy them less uh, and then you would buy the luxury goods so businesses who sell the income in elastic good should always decrease their price to increase their revenue and businesses who sell income elastic <coughs> income elastic luxury products the businesses need to sell these businesses sorry these businesses need to sell their product at an increased price so when they increase their price they their sales revenue will increase why because there is a bigger bigger rise rise in demand so that's what will happen and this is income elasticity explained. I think the, we can move on. Uh, wait, is it? Oh, there. Okay. Uh, yeah. So this is examples of goods with different YED. Okay. So you've, we've got product W that's a good good any goods that you've got and income elasticity in elastic or inelastic type of good 
the effect of a 10% increase in income? Product W has an income elasticity of 0.6. Uh, one thing to note down here is whenever you've got a, a negative income elasticity, it's always a, a inferior good, inferior type of good. And a positive income elasticity, elasticity indicates that the type of good is normal. Okay. And, and you... As you can see, product W, the income elasticity is positive value, so the type of good is normal. And because it's less than one, we know that it's inelastic. And the effect of <coughs> and the effect of a 10% income increase in income is that the demand will increase by 6%. Obviously, the demand will increase because the income has increased. If you've got more money coming into your pocket, you are obviously going to spend more. But when your product is inelastic, you, your demand will increase in a less lesser proportion than the change in your price. Remember, inelastic means the change in the demand is less proportionate compared to the change in your price. Your price change is bigger than the change in your demand. So obviously the change in your demand will be smaller. Uh, less in proportion compared to the change in price. Yeah, product X is your minus 2.4 is your inner last income elasticity. And remember, this is negative, so negative indicates that your type of good is inferior, which means your demand when your income is increased will fall. Okay. So, but here, the income is elastic, which means your demand will fall by a greater proportion, to a greater proportion than your change in income. So if your income increased by 10%, demand might fall 20, 24, as it says in this example. Uh, I think, yeah, so we're done with this slide. Again, another example. 1.2, 0 0.8, let's go down. Using knowledge of income elasticity of demand. Firms will make use of income elasticity of demand by producing more luxury goods during periods of economic growth. Okay, so what this means is that when firms judge always constantly uh, judge it, um, analyzing the market and keeping track of what's happening in the economy and they will always produce income elastic good goods when there is a growth in uh, economic growth in the market this, because they know that people have more money and people are willing to spend that money because they're coming into money more and more often and their incomes are growing because the economy is growing. Eventually, that's a good logical uh, explanation trail. So why not invest in producing goods that are more income elastic so that people will buy those goods more so and that would lead to making them higher profits in recession with falling incomes supermarkets might be advised to promote more value inferior goods that's because people don't have incomes or their incomes are not higher and so 
businesses or such as supermarkets will try to promote inferior goods because as the incomes are lower the people tend to buy more inferior goods and the demand for them increases okay again just for a recap normal good is when you've got increased income which leads to a higher demand luxury good increased income leads to a bigger percentage increase in demand inferior good increased income leads to a fall in demand i.e cheap substitutes for supermarket coffee sugar or whatever okay uh why oh what well, we're done is have we finished everything yes i think we are done i'm is there anything else in this topic that we that we should have done? I don't think so. I cross elastic. No, I think this is a level business. Yeah, there is no cross elasticity. There is only income elasticity and um, price elasticity, which we've done both. Okay, so. I think we are finished for today this is the end so if there is you've got more questions I you can comment and I can answer them in like the comment section whatever and if you still need some help comment uh, any topic for business economics and accounts or whatever so thank you for watching this video